Hundreds on the Sun Coast honored those they lost this Memorial Day with a solemn moment of remembrance at Sarasota National Cemetery. SNN Samantha Sonner has more. The memorial at Sarasota National Cemetery marks the bravery of those who served. And on Memorial Day, families remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Lydia Dominguez brought her uncle Angelo, a World War II veteran. We should remember people, uh, you know, tend to think of this day as a barbecue day. <laughs> but uh, we, like to, we like to remember because we are able to have those barbecues because of these vets. World War II veteran Ed Redding was happy to see people of all ages visit the memorial. It's very encouraging. She's I mean, people willing to come out and spend their day here and not think of it just as the first day of summer. Redding says it's important to take the time to remember. So many of them made the ultimate sacrifice. It's the very least that we could do, the very least. And we don't want people to forget what kind of sacrifices a lot of people made. Neil McDaniel comes with his family every Memorial Day. I think about my father. I think about my wife's father. They all served. I think about all my family who was in there, and I think about freedom for the most part, and the sacrifice that these people put in to give us our freedom. Tom Zielinski says it's important and not to forget. It's, it's, it's very difficult to talk about it. Uh, think about giving your life for your country. Veteran David Van Oosterwijk was there to honor a fellow veteran and friend who just passed. Well, it was a very special day. You know, remember the uh, people that gave it all? Well, that's kind of sad to think about everything. He's now thinking about the future of the military, including his son, who served for nine years, and his daughter, who is currently serving. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.